it was a tough life because they came to what was known as the Dark Africa. It was dangerous. It was a risk. In 1828, four Christian volunteer missionaries from the Swiss Basel mission came to Ghana. Over the next century, more would arrive. Many would die from malaria and other tropical diseases. They came to convert Ghanaians to Christianity. They created the foundations for the modern-day Presbyterian church here and a lot more besides. One, they established many schools. Former education came from the Basel Mission. They also established clinics and hospitals. Uh, through their work, uh, they also established agricultural stations to promote scientific way of growing crops, not the traditional way, scientific way of growing crops and using agriculture to produce wealth. You see, so they were able to encourage the people to produce cash crops and to export some of them. This exhibition is a selection of some of the photographs the missionaries took, from formal photos to images of the first public buses that the missionaries introduced. Some show the close relationship with local Ghanaians in what was then called the Gold Coast. They were certainly not seen as colonialists because, I mean, they, they lived a humble lifestyle. They lived in the middle of the communities and uh, they were only successful when they were able to bring up the community to a certain higher level. So all this together, I think, made them uh, rather unique in, in, in the area especially if you compare them with uh, what the colonial government or the traders uh, did otherwise. The Basel missionaries were deported in 1917 at the time of the First World War in Europe. They were sent home by the British colonial government that suspected them of being pro-German. But the missionaries left behind them a nascent Presbyterian church and budding social and economic sectors. The exhibition is open at Ghana's National Museum. It will then head on to a nationwide roadshow. Katarina Vitozzi, CCTV, Accra.